Coastal 49, Kansas 22. This is from Friday night. I don't want to spend long on it. I just want to bring up the fact that I think Kansas was actually the story of this game, even though they lost by 27 points, because they look competent with Jason Bean at quarterback, and and Lance Leipold has got that team looking decent. Like, they put up a fight. So we were texting back and forth in the group chat that we have, and and I'm watching this game, and I'm saying, listen, Kansas is getting beat, all right? Kansas is definitively getting beat in this game. Yes. But but there are, when I say there are years, every year for the last decade or so, Kansas would have folded. They would have given up. As soon as they got down by three scores, it would have been over. They packed it in. They kept fighting. They kept, this is the best, I know it's it sounds like I'm patronizing them because they got their ass whipped in this game. But this is the best I've seen a Kansas football team look in a long time. They look fun. They are going to I give I think they're going to win games. Yes, they're going to give teams fits this year. And Lance I, I Lepo, can't listen. Wait. Hey, how do you look in purple and gold? <laughs> Cover no. your ears, Ed. Cover no, your ears. No way. How do you, no way. How do you look in purple and gold? Uh, I, I don't have a box score for them because uh, ESPN, for whatever reason, does not have their stats up. But – uh, I do know that Jason Bean was a a lot of fun in this game. So it'll you know, be fun. I still can't find stats on the Presbyterian game. Like yeah. I don't think anybody kept stats outside of a score. That's that's been the ESPN here. doesn't have it. CSPN, C, CBS, CBS, CSPN, CBS, Yahoo. No, it doesn't. It's like the game didn't yeah. get played, but we have a score. That's I just want to know how many touchdowns my boy Rennie Heffley had. That's all. Hey, look at look at Presbyterian's website. Just go look at that. I did. It, they don't have them. I don't think. I don't think somebody kept stats, Gary. Well, they they were when playing. I, when I tell you, tens of people were there, Gary. Tens of people were there. They were they were playing what like Fort Lauderdale uh, Junior High School or something. <laughs> it was. Oh, I'm not man. exaggerating when I tell you that our high school, Olive Branch, down the road, is is maybe three times bigger than this place. And it's not like I mean, oh, it's yeah. a damn Mississippi high school. This ain't Texas football, guys. No, you you ain't wrong about that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.